Welcome back to the Weekend Report. I'm Masachaba Mposwa, a third-year student from the University of Pretoria. Rorisang Mahomo has been provisionally credited with the detection of an asteroid that has been recorded in the International Astronomical Union's Minor Planet Center database. Provisionally named Main Belt Asteroid 2023 QI50, the discovery was made by a student who's not in astronomy but studying business management in UP's Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences. Mahomo, good morning and thank you so much for your time and congratulations. Thank you very much and good morning. Now this is a very big deal and there's also a lot of big English here. I think I had to read the story like 10 times to understand what is happening. So let's try and break down all this jargon for our viewers at home. Let's start here. Um, how would you define a celestial body? All right. So a celestial body is any object that is in space. Simple as that, an object that is, that's in space. Now including you, us, uh, the moon, yeah. So, so tell us about the celestial body that you discovered. It's called Main Belt Asteroid 2023 QI50. What is it? All right. So let me start first by explaining what an asteroid is in simple terms. So an asteroid, it's a minor planet, or uh, these were rocks that were left behind during the formation of planets or the, the solar system. So asteroid main belt, asteroid QI50 is an asteroid, just like I have um, already explained. And you see the main belt, it's because a main belt of asteroids is found between Mars and Jupiter, hence why the main belt in the, in the name. That is incredible. So how did a business management student get to discover an entire asteroid? Mm. All right. Well, it is all thanks to Blue Crane Space, which is uh, a society that student led at the University of Pretoria. Under Blue Crane Space, uh, I have joined as one of the citizen scientists for the asteroid search campaign. That's an international campaign in a program by NASA for planet defense. So um, during this campaign, I went through training since I'm a business management student, so I barely had any knowledge about astronomy, just a little basic, basic knowledge. But Blue Crane Space, including the um, um, uh, International Astronomical uh, Search Campaign, they provided training for using the program that we use to detect um, asteroids that have been captured in space. So using the program called Astronometrica, I was able to conduct the whole analysis last year in around uh, August and September. So how did you which just... Brought yeah. Off. So now how did you discover that your, your um, asteroid detection had been catalogued in the International Astronomical Union's Minor Planet Center database? All right. So... Uh, it's a, it's a lengthy procedure. So last year, like I said, the campaign was last year around August. So a week after the campaign ended, we received another um, a list from the MPC uh, because the first phase is to catalog the, the asteroid as a preliminary before it goes under verification, which takes about a year. So then in October, 29th, October, 2024, that's where I received the confirmation from the campaign that indeed my discovery, it is an asteroid and they gave it a beautiful name, Asteroid QI 50. That is incredible. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, I'm 20 years old. You're 20 years old. Years old. That is incredible. Where did your love for, for astronomy begin? Oh, it's quite interesting. It started uh, on a school trip in Bloomfo to Bloemfontein at a planetarium. This is where I literally went through space travel 
They showed us everything in space, planets, from planets to solar system to, to galaxies. And that's where my passion and interest for astronomy started. That's incredible. You're from Lesotho, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I am. What is the Lesotho? The thing that I have received for the past month was um, media. So uh, media platforms were reaching out to celebrate this um, achievement with me. And I'd say that uh, the current chairperson for Blue Crane Space is also from Lesotho. So through him, uh, we were able to start uh, a society for Basotho to join in. So I think the government maybe will later do something about it. I'm still waiting, hopefully. Well, they better do something about it. And what does the future look like for you after discovering an entire asteroid? <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, the future is bright. The <laughs> yes, future girl. is bright. So next year, um, Pan African Citizen Science ELEP, which is uh, what Blueprint Space is working with, which is a NASA partner, they have invited me uh, to participate in a conference that's happening next year to present this discovery. And they will be help, helping me out with everything since I'm still new in this field. And so, yes, and otherwise, I'm still continuing with uh, asteroid discoveries, with uh, not again, asteroid detection. Um, I'll be continuing that. If other opportunities do present themselves, I am definitely taking them. <laughs> I love that. And what does this come <laughs> with? I mean, discovering an entire asteroid, does it come with money? Currently, I don't have any knowledge if there's money, but what I do know is it's just the honor of contributing to space science and the honor of actually naming the asteroid. You yes. are an absolute anomaly, like you are an absolute gem <laughs> and such an inspiration. I feel like an underachiever. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm on it. Congratulations. Thank you, very much. Thank you so much Thank for you. your time. Continue to soar. Wow. That was business management in UP's Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences, third year student. Rorisang Mahomo, who discovered an asteroid. A mini planet, right? A mini planet. I also feel underachieved. <laughs> I mean, at we 20 are not years worthy. old, I was not <laughs> into astronomy. I was studying, though, but you, you start thinking about what were you doing as a 20 year old if huh. this young lady is uh, discovering mini planets? Jeez, what, crazy. What, what conversations does she have with other 20 year olds? <laughs> Definitely not about astronomy. No.